Okay guys, so this is today's lesson, uh, 2.3, and it's called What's My Rule? And it says, you can find an explanation of function machines and what's my rule table on pages 202 to 204 in the student reference book. Okay, the student reference book's not going home, so I'm going to explain right now about this. Um, ask your child to explain how they work. It's good if you explain things uh, to people who are helping you, because that helps you understand it better too and help your child fill in all the missing parts for these problems. So I want you to pay attention guys so you know how to do this. So it says, practice facts and fact extensions. Complete the what's my rule problems. Make up problems of your own for the last table. So guys, these are kind of like in and out boxes. Actually, they are in and out boxes. <laughs> all right, so, and remember how we had a rule and we called it a pattern? Well, this is basically like the pattern. So if you think of this rule as a pattern, then that's going to help you a lot with this. You have to think, what's the pattern? Okay? Well, it tells you the pattern is to subtract 7. So if you put a certain number in, okay, hopefully you're looking right up where I'm showing you how to do this. If you put a certain number in, and it tells you which numbers you're putting in, you're going to do the pattern to it, which is subtract 7, do the rule, subtract 7, and what number comes out? Well, if I put 14 into this box, and 7 gets taken away, or subtracted, it's going to look like 14 minus 7. Okay, and I know the answer to that is 7. That's what goes in the outside. Alright, same with this. So I'm going to, this time I'm going to put 7 is going to go in the box. So I'm going to do 7 minus 7. Well, 7 minus 7 is 0. So that's how you do that. You put this number in, and then this number comes out. Now, sometimes the tricky thing comes when, if you look at number 2 here, so you've got to look right up where I'm teaching you. Okay, it's easy when you have an in. So let's just try number 2. So we put 7 into number 2, so 7 goes in. And look, it says the pattern is, to, or the rule is to add 9. So I'm going to do plus 9. 7 plus 9, that's 16. Okay, no problem. But now, here, oh my gosh, what am I going to put in? It doesn't tell me what to put in. This is really important. I want everyone's pencils down and paying attention right up here. Okay, so you can see how to do this. If you don't have an in, you only know what's coming out. So the coming out one is down here. 18. The rule is still the same, plus 9. So I have to think, hmm, what plus 9 equals 18? All right, that's how I'm going to figure this out. That's how I'm going to find out what number I have to put in, because I don't even know what number I have to put in. Well, I know that 9 plus 9 equals 18. All right, so I'm going to do that. Maybe I don't know what what plus 9 equals 18? I'll show you how to do it with this next one here. Let's look at, we have 86 in the out, but nothing in the inbox. Okay, so let's put 86 came out. I know that I added 9. Okay, now what did I add? What did I put in? Hmm, something plus 9 equals 86. I'm going to show you a trick. You can actually do this. 86, oops, going to write it the wrong way. 86 minus 9. I just do the opposite thing. And it's going to be 16 minus 9, 7. I, have to, I borrowed one. 77. So that would mean I put 77 in. Okay? So you have to pay attention to whether it's in or out. And you have to pay attention to what the rule is. Now for, the, for these ones, you actually have to tell me what the rule is. So you have to figure out what's happening between here and here or here and here, okay, then you have to tell the rule, and then you have to do the rest of them that you haven't done yet. And then for these, you get to make up your own. I don't want to see just plus zero or minus zero. Okay, challenge yourselves a little bit. Do something interesting, especially those of you who are really getting this. Um, but you don't have to make it overly complicated either. I don't need to see some long algebraic formula in there. Okay, but just think a little bit about this. Have a little fun with it. Right? And there's no fact practice on this paper, so if you have a few extra minutes, work on some flashcards uh, or something just to do a little bit of fact practice. Okay? 
So this is Homelink 2.3. What's my rule?